All right. Welcome, guys. It's crazy to think we're in 2024, but we're super excited to see um, where this year takes us. Um, I have a great feeling that it's it's going to be better better than 2023. Zaya's got us set up for success, I feel like. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about that on tonight's call, um, kind of what we're going to do with the team page, um, mini summit. Um, yeah. And then you guys, if you have any questions, um, hopefully we'll have a few minutes uh, to answer those. So um, let's just get started with this new program, the Director Growth Pro Program. Um, super, super pumped because not only will it help you, but it will help your team. I think it would just help everybody um, all around. Um, even if you're maybe at a title that you're you're not going to be able to earn um, the bonus, um, obviously with your team being able to earn those bonuses, um, it will definitely help you. So let's first talk about um, the qualifications, how you earn it. Um, so it is for the first quarter. So that is January through March. Um, they're, they're testing it out. Um, not sure if they're going to continue the program. I have a feeling if it's successful, they will definitely continue it. Um, but it's for the first quarter only as of right now. Um, so I know it's a little confusing. I was a little confused myself on who is going to be eligible to earn this bonus. So we are just strictly going off your highest rank in 2023. That is all you're gonna you're gonna go with to determine if you're gonna qualify for this or if you can qualify for this bonus. So I'm just gonna use, let's say Patty. I see her. Um, let's say Patty, um, her highest rank ever was a Zaya executive. But in 2023, her highest rank um, was a director. She is still gonna be able to qualify for this bonus. And I love that Zaya, they listened to us on this because a lot of times, you know, we were like, there's really not a lot of incentive for people to hit director. Um, you know, it didn't make a huge difference in their paycheck. So this bonus, I mean, $1,000, $1,500 for three months. I mean, that is, or two out of the three months. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, that is, that's amazing. So, um, so back to, to Patty, we'll just keep using her. So she needs to hit, um, okay, so she, her highest rank was a director. So she needs to hit two out of the three months. So January, February, or February, March, or January, March, she needs to hit two out of the three months in order to qualify for that bonus. Um, if she hits director, she will qualify for that $1,000 bonus. If she hits senior director, two out of those three months, she's going to get that $1,500 bonus and it's going to be paid out um, on the March, or I'm sorry, on April's commission checks. So now let's say your highest director or your highest, Patty's highest rank in 2023 was a senior director. She is not eligible for the director bonus. She has to hit the senior director two out of the three months to qualify for that. Um, Hope that didn't make it um, harder to understand. Um, what else did I want to say about that? Um, yeah, so I think that is the gist of it. Um, if you haven't listened to the recognition call um, that they did, I think on January 3rd, um, there's a recording of it. It is really good. It talks about, um, you know, other, other programs that they're going to do, other things that they're going to recognize at mini summit and summit and so forth, but they do touch on the um, director program. So um, again, it's going to benefit everybody. So really talk to your teams and encourage them to, to go for it because that, that will make a big difference in your check. <laughs> um, that's, you know, a great little spring bonus. And like I said, if we, if we have a lot of success with the program, I'm sure Zaya will um, continue it through the second quarter of the year. So, okay, Katie, do you wanna add anything to that? Did I miss anything? I didn't look at the chat to see if there's- I was just gonna see if you guys had questions, like specific questions on it. We could go through any of those. During that call with Sam and Lindsay, the chat was blowing up with questions. So if you guys have any, 
similar questions, we can talk through them. I loved that call. I just had to say so much. Like I just I felt so good leaving there. And I just was like, wow, like, I don't know. It just left me feeling really good. So if you guys haven't watched that call, go back and watch it. Cause I just, I just thought it was so nice. And just, I felt really valued and just like that they were really oh. were trying to find things for us because like me, just, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to tell you, I'm, you know, I'm a Zai executive, but I did only, um, senior director then was all of 2023 I didn't hit that one time this last year so I think yes I do too Jen I think then if this makes sense then so now this year I have to hit two out of three months two out of the three months then senior director again right to get that bonus yeah which is pretty cool that they they did that and they're allowing us to still run for something and push for something because it does make me feel like gosh I'm never going to be able to hit these some of these promos or earn these things because it's impossible or not impossible I shouldn't say that it's very possible but just like they said, times are different than they were um, in yeah. 2020 when things were just really booming. It was just a different world than it is now. Right. So it's kind of exciting again to, yeah, like push for something and go for something again. And it really does make me feel like I want to go for it, run for it and be excited about it. So I'm so yeah. glad to hear that. I, yeah. I mean, that makes me so happy. And yeah, guys, with the ranks, it's almost like we need to cut off anything above Zaya Executive. I mean, I I was a presidential rep and I get paid at a Zaya executive now. I mean, that's my that was my highest rank in 2023. So, I mean, that's quite a bit of a dip, but that's just how it is. So it's almost like as a company, I wish we could just like cut off the top of that pay plan so you have a more like accurate representation of where you're at because we're all just it's just it's just shrunk down a little bit um but yeah I agree Kayla I just think it's I I love it I feel like it was a lot of people said the missing piece in our comp plan right now um and I I definitely think this will be a year-long thing I mean <clears throat> they're testing it you know but it it's supposed to be like the new thing so if you don't get it this first quarter, don't be discouraged. Just if, if you're able to qualify for it, just set a goal that you'll hit it once this year. Who else could potentially qualify for it this year? Do you let's show of hands? So your highest paid rank last year was director or senior director or even senior rep. Because then you could. Okay. All right. So good. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. And you know, when our team members are getting those bonuses and qualifying and right, you know, hitting that level, it just benefits everybody. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. Okay. Chat. Um, yes, I agree, Jen. The qualification, Gina, is the first three months and then it'll start over. I mean, they haven't said that. But, um, okay. Yay. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so um, Monica and I wanted to do something to kind of go along with that, but we really liked the idea of um, this benefiting the whole team, not just directors and senior directors. So we decided that instead of a boot camp type situation on a separate page, we're just gonna do it in the team page. And what we're going to do, um, we came up with a three week kind of boot camp. We liked three weeks because it, you know, it takes three weeks to build a habit. Um, and we're going to start tomorrow and it will run through the end of January. It's like Wednesday through Wednesday, three weeks. And so every day in our team page, starting tomorrow, we're going to post a daily tip with an action item. So one of them, I um, just off the top of my head is like email your, send an email to your customers. And then once you've done that, that day, you'll comment on the post that will be the accountability portion. That will be where we can cheer each other on. And, and some things are like sharing, sharing things that you're doing. So it will be very helpful too. Um, and then we're going to draw several prizes from those posts each week. So we were going to do daily prizes, but we thought we might lose our mind with sending all of the, those and just keeping track of those. So we're just going to do, you know, at the end of the week, we're going to kind of go through and, um, and reward people that are participating. So we're gonna keep it fun and light and I think it will be really helpful. Um, and that starts tomorrow. So any questions on that? Okay, that will be pinned to the top of the page. And then you guys, at the end of the three weeks, we have them in a document, we'll email them out because they're things that you really can just 
it's like you can rinse and repeat, you know, we can do the three weeks together and then we'll send it out and you could just do it again on your own. Um, they're just business activities and they're not things like, you know, recruit somebody today. They're very, they're very, um, I don't know. I feel like higher level and, and just good for your whole business in general. So I think you're going to really like it. Yeah. And that was the thing when we were making them, we didn't want them to be, we tried to keep them a little just different than, you know, reach out to three people and, you know, ever, we all know, we all know what we should be doing at this point, unless you're a brand new rep. Um, and if you are, please reach out and we will tell you what you need to do. <laughs> but, um, I feel like most of us know what we, what we need to be doing. Um, you know, the reach outs and the, all the things for the parties and so on and so forth. So we tried to change it up a little bit. So hopefully you'll get some value out of that. Okay. The next thing we want to talk about is mini summit. Um, so we are going going to be in Nashville. We, we've we decided we're going to be in Nashville. Um, it's March, what, 15th and 16th. So Friday and Saturday. Um, Summit will just be on Saturday, but we were, we would love to do some kind of team event. Um, we were thinking it would be Friday night, but then we've heard that Zaya might do some kind of cocktail party, some kind of thing Friday night. We're still not, <laughs> we still don't have those exact details. So as of right now, we're probably going to plan on something for Saturday night, um, a team event Saturday night. And we don't know quite yet what that is going to entail because we need to kind of see, you know, headcount wise and space wise and all that, you know, just to determine what we're going to do. But um, probably, don't you think like February 1st, we'll send out um, a spreadsheet if you are going to be able to make it. Then we can get a final head count and then we can we can start planning. But um, if you haven't been to a mini base camp, um, it is very valuable. Um, usually there's a lot more training than we get um, at Summit. Um, and then just a great place to connect with your fellow Zaya um, family. It just it really, you know, recharges you and you just leave with a really good feeling after spending the weekend together. So we would love as many of you um there as possible um again it's the 15th and 16th and if you're going we haven't really talked about it but the incentive trip if you're going if you're trying to earn that incentive trip you actually get some bonus points for being at mini summit too so that is great um i think that is it for mini summit does anybody have any questions on mini summit while we're here are you all staying at the omni we haven't decided yet. We might get, we might get an Airbnb. I'm not sure, but no, we have not even, we haven't decided. Kim, are you going to be there? Well, it's our spring break week. And so we're supposed to be gone, but then we haven't booked anything yet. So I, I don't know. I don't, I would like to, but since it's our spring break week and Leah has these big plans that we're going to seaside, I don't really, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in charge. <laughs> okay all right the other thing um that's coming new this year is we're going to try shout out sundays in our team page so um we'll just post a little reminder like hey it's shout out sunday and then that you guys can fill the page with shout outs for team members or if there's something personal that um in your business that you want to talk about and and celebrate it, i just recorded a podcast that's coming out thursday about what not to do in 2020 for. And this, this isn't meant to be a shameless plug, but I, in it, I talk about how gone are the days of self-promotion on social media in regards to your business. Like that used to work. It really did. When we started, you could go on and be like, I've earned all these trips, you know, and that means you can too. And that was like a real a, attractant for people. And it, it worked. You could talk about the bonuses you've earned and that just doesn't work anymore. It's just white noise and it's kind of gross. Um, and so even shouting out team members publicly just doesn't land the same way it used to. You guys probably feel that and notice that. And you probably don't, you probably get annoyed when other people do it too, if you're anything like me. Um, it just doesn't, it feels kind of like it's for us and not for, you know what I mean? So that's why we really want to use the team page for this. Like we, we definitely want to be celebrating each other more. And I think recognition needs to be a big part of that, but we, we'd love to do it in a way where we don't have to worry about rules and um, 
compliance and and becoming white noise. And so that's why we're gonna make the team page a really nice place for that. So um, anyway, I think that will be fun. So yes, to add on to that. So make sure um, if you don't already have on your notifications, if you wanna be notified um, for our boot camp that we're doing and the Sunday shout outs, um, make sure that you have your, your notifications on for the team page because we would really like to start using that more and get you know people re-engaged in it. And like we said, maybe people aren't in the, or didn't really, like if we had a separate group for the director program, maybe they didn't want to sign up to be in it. It was just, just something they weren't comfortable or, or whatever. So we're hoping that by sharing it in the team page, people that wouldn't normally join one of those groups still get some value from it. Um, or it could be like, oh, I can do this. And, you know, it might, it might spark something in them. So that's why we decided to, to try to keep it on the team page and hopefully everybody can, can benefit from it. So, all right. Anything else? Anybody? You can this add might just be kind of just a question for you guys to get your thoughts on it. You just mentioned something that kind of sparked with me. Um, I have always shouted out my team at the end of each month. And I'm um, just kind of giving them some recognition, like my top 10 on my team, entire team, top 10 on like my personal team. Do you feel that that is, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if I should keep doing that, if that is like yuck to other people, or if you think that that's, if I should just do that in the team page, if I should do that publicly, you guys, um, what are everybody else? I wanted to see what everybody else's <laughs> thoughts were on that too. I, I feel like if you want to do it, maybe your stories. Yeah. You know? I just, you know, like, I don't, I just, I feel like seeing it, seeing people shout it out on Facebook, on their Facebook page just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't land well. It just doesn't, it, like Katie said, it just becomes white noise. That's, that's my thought on that. What do you think about stories, Katie? Or what do you? Yeah. I mean, I think if it brings you joy, then do it. Um, and I, one thing I like to do is like mix it up. So like one month I might send like, like handwritten notes in the mail or another, I might just send a little voice message or something or another, I might forget and not do anything to be honest. Um, but, but, you know, doing it, doing it, how, like what feels good to you, I think, I think is okay. But the purpose, the, the old purpose of, of doing it on social media was to show other people what was possible and to get them interested in joining. And I don't think that works anymore. Do you know what I mean? So if it simply is just to make those, that person feel good, then, you know, you can, you can certainly do it. It's just not, I don't think it's a business attractant anymore. Yes. Times are a changing. We got to evolve. For sure. Okay. Well, awesome, guys. Well, like Katie said, we will start posting in the team page tomorrow if you want to participate and and um, maybe earn a prize or two. Then definitely start commenting and and um, yeah, on those posts and doing those action items. And you know, even if you want to just you know do some, do all, it doesn't matter. So we're we're not going to be keeping track per se. We're just going to like she said, go back through at the end of the week and kind of look through and see who was participating and, and just draw some names from there. So awesome. Well, good luck to all of you guys that are going to go after that bonus. Um, that is some good cash. So, and it will make a difference for sure right before spring break. So, or help pay off spring break or <laughs> let Leah go to seaside for spring break. <laughs> um, all of the above. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for being on. It was great Thank to see you guys. Faces. We love you guys. And happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. All right. Good to see you, ladies. Bye, guys. Bye.